Okay, please switch off the ACs also. So I would like to uh, switch on the warmer first. Can you one of you please switch on the warmer? Yeah. I want it to be in a manual mode. Yes, sir. Yes, heater output to be preferably maximum, 100% of the Suction apparatus, can you prefer? Can you please check the suction apparatus? Is it working or not? Oh, yes, it's working. So oxygen source, hope it is uh, there, yes, oxygen source is there, connected. connected. So now I will wear the glove. Can all of you please wear the glove? We already washed the hands. I'm just wearing the glove. I'm just putting the two linens for receiving the baby. It should get pre warmed. Okay, let it be here for some time. I have the, for maintaining the warmth of the baby, I have a cap here. I have a plastic wrap, if at all the baby is going to be preterm, I may use it. The Klingo is there. <laughs> Thermal, no, that's nothing. And for clearing the airway, I have a suction apparatus is already working. I would like to have a temperature, I mean, uh, this one, pressure of 180 to 100 to the maximum, not, not more than that. I have a daily apparatus here for using it. Suction catheter is already connected. Suction catheter is there already, so I would like to, I may use it if it is needed. And coming to the auscultation, uh, suction apparatus, the same. Meconium aspirator. Meconium aspirator, oh. Meconium aspirator is there. If at all it is going to be like, we can use it. And for auscultation, I have a good quality state, I hope. Yes, good, fine. And for ventilation, I have the ambu bag. It's going to be a preterm, so I would like to use the preterm mask. Let us see how it is working. I would like to keep it ready. So, so I can feel the pressures in my palms. It's fine. Pop of valve is working, and it is self inflating. So hopefully, it is in the working condition. And I would like to have a reservoir also if the baby needs 100% oxygen. Can I can I have a reservoir also here? It's fine. Oh, sorry, you can't. It's fine. So it's there already. So why is there? So if at all I need, I can use it. And there's a pulse oximeter already. You have to use it. And blender, if at all the baby needs more than 20%, even percent, we may need to use the blender also. It's ready already. I'm coming to oxygenation part. Oxygenation I finished, I hope already. And coming to the intubation part. Okay. So, the laryngoscopy is working. I am going to use a zero blade, it is working. And there is an extra pair of, I mean, um, uh, what is it? Batteries. Batteries. Batteries here. And we have 2.5. 3, 3.5 size, 8 it is, I will use it, this is going to be 0 and double zero, just double zero, 0, I may use probably 0 and that is inch tape to measure the NTL length, that is nasotragal length for fixing the 80 tubes, there are plasters too, we have already the plasters to fix the 80 T's and Okay, if at all the baby needs positive pressure ventilation, we have the rice tube to decompress the abdomen. I am just going to use 8 or 10 friends. It is there already. Coming to the... Coming to the medication part. Yes, so UVL is there. We have a UVL of size point, um, 3 point... Uh, Five size, if at all, I mean, uh, five size, if at all, we, need, we may need to use it. And there is adrenaline insulin. Can Dr. Shafi sir, can you please prepare the, can you please take care of these things? Yes. And syringes are there. There is saline. Okay. I would like to have a 
this one prepared already you know keep the stock solution adrenaline is there and so normal saline is there we keep it as 1 in 10000 dilution okay so that if at all uh, we can use it point I'll keep it ready and i will label the yes. syringes i'll yes, take yes. 0.3 ml per kg of iv adrenaline for it iv administration and for et administration i'll take 0.9 ml per kg of 1 in 10000 oh. adrenaline and label the syringes yes sir please sir keep it ready okay mm -hmm. And medications, it's fine. I hope uh, I have all the equipment checked and I think everything is in place. And if at all the baby needs some CPAP room, I mean a room, labor room CPAP, we may have that. We can use the TP resuscitator also. Hope uh, we are ready now. Hmm? Uh, okay, then. Okay, uh, Dr. Dinesh. Uh, Good morning. Sir, good morning, sir. Well, good morning, Prabha. Good morning, Just sir. Just now we had a call. Huh? Some musician, Dr. Shyamala, called me. They are going to deliver a 135 vehicle. She is a primary. Okay, sir. Singleton. She came with uh, anti I mean, antipartum. She is bleeding pain now since uh, yesterday night. Okay. Almost sir. for more than four hours. So they may be planning. They are planning for emergency mm -hmm. MCS. Okay. They will take it up now. Okay. Okay, okay Otherwise, sir. there is no other comorbid conditions. Only she is really mean having bleeding baby. Okay, sir. So for the APK, the evidence is going to terminate the baby now, 35 okay. weeks. Okay. So we are going to handle it now. Okay. okay. Yes. And uh, maybe I would like to be the team leader. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. And uh, see, we will we will see how it is going to happen. Okay. Dr. Dinesh, will you be able to manage the ARP? Yes, mm, sir. I will take care of the airway, sir. If at all the baby needs, will you take care of it? Yes, sir. I will take so, care of the airway, take sir. Take care. Uh, okay. And Dr. Prabha, yes, sir. Uh, yes, mm, maybe I would like you to give chest compressions if at all the baby needs chest compressions. Yes, sir. hope you know that uh, things very well. Yeah, yes, is sir. it fine? I can, Dr. Shafi, yes, uh, sir. Yes, <laughs> yes, uh, can you please take care of the UVL part and everything like that? UVL, if the baby needs any medication, probably you may need to help us in doing a I'm putting a UVL. Yes, sir. I will take fine? care of UVL. UVL and medications, if and needed, medication. anyway, it's a preterm baby. You take care of the preparations also. I hope you know that uh, dilutions and everything. Can you please take care of it? Yes, UVL sir. UVL part and everything. Yes, sir. And Dr. Usha, can you please yes, help sir. us in monitoring the, I mean, uh, in documenting all these things, yes, the sir. events and everything? Yes, sir. Hmm? The timings and everything, the solution. If at all uh, we need any other help also, like uh, doing some other help, can you please do it? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, uh, we, shall we start uh, preparing ourselves? Yes, uh, yes, sir. I'm ready now. Yes. We are all, we'll, we'll wash the hands first anyway. I'm just uh, uh, washing the hands. Yes, sir. The same routine, uh, two minutes protocol, whatever is said by who. I'm just washing it. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, Dinesh, are you okay? Yes, sir, I'm, I'm ready. ready. I'm ready. Okay, everybody? Okay. Yes, sir. We'll, we'll go to the room now. We'll, we will go to the labor room now. And before that, uh, yes. Uh, how is the uh, temperature seems to be very cold. The, air, the room temperature seems to be a little bit less. Can you please switch off the fans and yes, uh, sister? Oh, yes, please. I want it to be between 26 and 28. Room temperature? Yes, sir. Done, sir. Baby delivered. This is the baby. Uh, baby is fine, breathing, crying, and the tone is also good. So, I am going to place the baby over the mother's abdomen and start with the routine care. So the first step of uh, is just um, drying the secretions from head to foot. And I am going to change the baby to the second towel which is a dry linen. hat has to be uh, covered. The head is a large surface area for the baby so the head has to be covered with the hat followed by suctioning of the mouth followed by the nose and this is this is if necessary this step is if necessary we can do then cleaning the both eyes with the dry gas and the clamping of the cord clamping of the clamping of the cord has to be done yeah. 
and the ID band has to be placed over the this has to be placed so one almost one minute is over now and uh, now the baby is breathing fine and the color of the baby is good tone is fine and heart rate is also good so I am going to place a baby over the mother's abdomen in between the mother's breast with the head turn to one side and the whole one second towel can be used to cover the baby and the mother and so by thereby we are maintaining the skin to skin contact with the baby as soon as the baby is uh, the mother is ready you can start breastfeeding at any point of time and vitals are all stable now so this finishes the routine care of the baby